I'd like to show you a small demonstration of Qt tablet encoder that's Qt in short which should be able to make it much easier for you to convert and basically transfer files from your desktop PC to your internet tablet. Uh, the main idea is that we have an input side which can be basically anything from files through CDs, DVDs, Blu-ray discs, FTP streams, web streams, YouTube, TV tuners even, BitTorrent or any other source that basically we can find drivers for and on the other side we have the output device which can be well for now we have these three internet tablets uh, the idea is that as the easier we make this transfer the more people will use it so uh, I've picked um, a trailer here to demonstrate these abilities and for example if this is a movie trailer we have in the advanced tab options which show us the various parameters uh, of this video file and the output parameters that we would like to have on our tablet of course we can keep or change as many of these as we would like to if we want higher bitrate or uh, better sound or uh, we bet or we are trying to concentrate on small size so um, we also have profiles here so these are predefined profiles which are uh, specifically tailored for a given device for example if you have an older tablet then obviously you will have to go for lower bitrate and resolution uh, compared to what you would do if you would have uh, a newer one okay so uh, we also have a preview of this which is a, a live preview um, let me show you how it works uh, for the given parameters it will show you how the video would look like so we obviously see some artifacts and the quality of the video is not as good as on the original player okay okay so uh we can go to extremes as well this is really blocky okay so we don't want to use this one okay so uh another feature is that we can auto detect the, the tablet. This is done based on, on the USB descriptor and if I plug my tablet in there it will pop up but we don't need this here but if we say detect at that moment the Qt software they will detect what tablet we have and what the path it is uh, the path we need to get files to it and suggest a file for our input source okay also if when we are we now have a different device than it was previously selected so um, let's let's do something else let's, let's convert this basically start job and now we can see here that the files are converting. Now the important thing is that the output here is on the tablet itself. So we are not converting to some temporary file, but we are writing directly to the tablet here. Okay, so, uh, but this is completely uh, threaded. So we can put in just another trailer, just not get bored. Um, let's put another one in. Whoops, there goes a bug. Okay, and we can make another one. And now we see that we these are being converted in parallel this is especially good if you have like a, a dual processor or multi-core um, processor in your computer desktop computer okay uh, what I'd like to show you here is that we can uh, basically auto start jobs what does that mean uh, that means that when we select an input the conversion starts automatically okay so uh, da, 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 we do we can pick up a paper there and if we check we'll see that it's converting already there okay and since we are all about being advanced and user-friendly we can do this with drag-and-drop as well for example see now all we have auto start checked 
and if we well we use up all our traders but we'll do that one again so whoa there goes conqueror okay 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 so we'll drag this little device here and as we drop it whoops he says we already have done this but never mind and we will see that our little video file is converting and if we check it here 